Welcome back, Nerd Herders. We're going to test something out here to see if you guys like it at all, but I'm going to start doing a few tutorials here and there. And this is my first one. It's just on shooting. And all I'm doing is I'm going to the uh, 2K, KU, uh, the university, and showing you the different jump shots, the different shots and everything, because I, as a new player, didn't actually know this was there and it was available. So uh, it is under the Play Now menu, and you just go over to the 2KU, and that's where this is. So like the first one, the jump shot, you just hold down or you pre press and hold X and then release. And there you go. You want to try to get it to as close uh, to the bar at the top. <laughs> he shows off a little bit. I mean, ah, no, no, that one's not going to make it. So that's just the jump shot, the regular jump shot. There's nothing fancy to it. Not going to make all of them, especially out here in the three pointer. There you go. See, now he's even close that time, but it still didn't make it. It seems like if you're under, you'll make more than you will if you actually hit the line. So I try to stop it right before it hits the line. That one went over. So, and then you press down on your uh, arrows if you're using a controller, which I believe you have to. But uh, And the bank shot is to hold it up and release. See, I'm not making these very well. There you go. Nope. There we go. But see, it's, for some reason, it's not actually doing the the banking off, and I don't I don't get that. Um, I've tried this multiple times, and I can't get it to bank. I still keep keeps doing the rim. Oh, see, that just went in. Again, went in. Maybe I have to be closer? Let's find out. We're going to work this together. Here. I'm just making them now. Just screw it. We're going to make them all. And so you can't do a flicking of it because it won't go up. It'll it'll just fake shot. So we'll move on. Normal layup is oh, you got to be moving first. Okay, so you come back a little bit, move up, and then you press it up. So you got to hold your left stick and right stick at the same time, and that'll just do a normal layup. Okay, that's pretty simple. Just run it back again. There we go. Run up and then push. That'll be a normal layup. All right. The runner floater is actually the reverse. You do the left joystick up and then backwards with the right one, and it'll kind of float like that. <clears throat> Run up, backwards. There you go. So it's pretty simple. I like it. Run up, backwards. There you go. That's perfect right there. All right. The reverse layup, you want to hold, you want to run around on the baseline, and then you hold. The right one, opposite direction. There you go. Like that. I actually got it right the first time. So, you want to run along the baseline, and then, boom. Right when, you, right when you're about to get, get to the, the painted part. Nope, that, see, that one was too early. Probably the blue painted, so the inside square. Yeah, there you go. So, that's the reverse layup. The Euro step, this one, I, I always mess this one up, so don't mind me. Uh, double tap while driving the lane. Okay. There you go. Oh, no, it's, it's supposed to cross over. Okay. Hold down left. There, like that. All right. So, you run up with your left joystick. You press up because you're running into the basket. And then you press kind of side to down to the left. See, that one didn't do it. We'll come back and do it again. Hold down, and then down to the left. There you go. That's better. And so that's your Euro step layup. That's what, that's what they call it. There you go. Beautiful. All right, the cradle layup is the same thing, except for this time you hold right and down. Uh, the right joystick you hold right and down instead of le left and down. Like that. So he cradles the ball while he's going for the layup. And that protects it a little bit more, too, so that they can't grab it out of your hands when you're doing this. 
Oh, that, that was a Euro step. Apparently, I, I... See, I think my... I don't know. My controller is, like, kind of funky. I need to get those caps on it again. Yeah, see those. Or maybe I'm just too close... Too high. Uh, sorry, too far. Out in the key. Let's try it again. Alright. The two-handed dunk. Again, this is one that I didn't know how to do. And you just hold down the trigger and bam. You do both joystick left and right up forward as you're running into the key. Alright. Bam! And there you go. There's your there's your two-handed dunk. It's it's pretty pretty easy because you know you're gonna use your right trigger speed anyway. So you just hold it down and boom. So but you have to have you have to have your right trigger on at the same time. And then push both of them up. You're gonna be pushing the left one up anyway because you're going towards the basket. There you go. Alright, the dominant offhand dunk. Alright, this one's a little bit more tricky. You're gonna go with your left thumb thumbstick, you're gonna go forward, like usual. You're gonna hold down the right trigger, but then you're gonna take the right one and go kind of to the right and side. Like that. All right. So you just want to you want to practice these multiple times too because they don't work out every single time. I right, see that one didn't work out. That wasn't a dunk. I mean it was, but it wasn't more of a layup to me. Again, off the backboard. So you know, not not what we want to do. There you go. There you go. All right. And so I think if you change direction, let me see if I change direction here. Hold on. Yeah, see? So if you change direction, it'll go to the other hand. So you gotta, you gotta choose which direction you wanna be, and it has to be left and up or right and up on the right joystick, and that'll change the direction of whichever shot you're trying to make, whichever dunk you're trying to do. Do it again. There you go. The flashy dunk. Uh, this one you move, you do the right trigger, the left joystick up, and then you go backwards with the right joystick. Look at that. He's so fancy. It's so fancy. All right, we'll do a couple more here. Make sure I can make sure I get it down here. Run, and then back. There you go. He's like, give me the ball. I want the ball. All right, we'll do one more time. Run in, and downward. There you go. All right. Pump fake is to, you just tap X or drop or your do right joystick down and release real quick. So if I do a tap, and then go ahead and shoot. Alright. I use the X when I try to do this one. Because. There you go. Oh, actually, that was a really good shot. I... Let's see. I pumped twice. Pump fake twice there. You can do it multiple times if you want. But it's not going to. After the first time, it's not going to. Uh, the defense isn't going to do anything. They're going to they're gonna know it's a fake. So it's better not to. The hop and gather. Now this one. It, it takes me a little while to do. But if, you, if you're dribbling the ball, you hold down right trigger and move down with the right thing. And it hops and gather. And then you shoot. And again, I'm not really good at it either. So. There we go. Jump and shoot. Jump and shoot. So, if you're, if, if you're running up, it looks like this. That way you get out of the way of the defender. The defender can't get to you as fast. So if he's on you, you're running down the court and you back and jump. There you go. And he's then he's usually out of your way and you can usually make the shot. So the spin and gather. This one is a little difficult on my controller. For some reason, on my fingers, I push down on the right um, the right thumbstick too hard, and so it doesn't always work for me. But if you're driving with the ball, let me. If he, oh, he's got to shoot it because he picked it up. Okay, hold on. All right, so let me see. You're driving with the ball, and then you rotate clockwise on the right side. See, and he did it where you can't see. Hold on, let me have him shoot real quick. There we go. Let me come over here. And so he goes it and right. There you go. That's how you do it. He does a spin move, and then you, sh you, can, you hold it down and keep shooting it. So, so if I'm driving the ball in... And whoop, I see, I didn't hold it down. I accidentally let go of the joystick or the thumbstick. Whatever you, I call them joysticks. All right, I'm old school. 
that's the reverse side which is probably gonna be the next one but look at that shot wasn't that beautiful that was beautiful so run in clockwise and hold it down until you release there you go and this is the half spin okay this one's a little bit more difficult you go in and there you go like that so you take the right joystick and you go only go halfway with it oh no that one went all the way around okay that was not that was I gotta let go of the trigger, that's the problem. Nope. Hold on. We'll get this. That was a just a jump shot. No, you're not supposed to lay it up. I wasn't even holding the, the trigger down this time. So you gotta go over halfway and then up. Nope. See, he shot it right away. Okay, that was just showing off. Stop it. Like I said, this one's a little bit harder to do because it's you You only do a quarter of a circle. And if it doesn't register right away, he's just going to do the layup instead. And so, you want to go up. Nope. See, he didn't register when I did sideways first. That's the only bad thing with some of these moves that might... I don't know if it's my joystick or this happens to other people, but... Let me try one more time and we'll move on. Nope. I got it at first, but then it, then it, it hasn't worked since then. So so that's that's if you want to do the circle, half circle, whatever. Uh, half spin gather. The step through is the punt fake, pump fake, and then move and hold the R in any direction. So you, you go up here, you pump fake, and then... Got to step forward. All right. So you go up and then... Nope. It didn't see. It didn't feel me let go. Nope. It's not stepping through. That's the problem. Like I said, some of these don't work for me for, very well. There you go. Well, that was more of a layup, but it's, it's, it's the same theory. You go up here... You stop, you pump fake, and then you... There you go. There you go. That's better. That one, see, that one didn't work. I did the same thing. Same thing again. There you go. All right, so that's the step through. So those are the ones you can practice on here. You can do whichever one you want, and it'll it'll show you how to do it. But I think I, I didn't know these were on here, and I I again I had no clue. I had the first time I'm playing this, and uh, geez, since I was younger. <laughs> See, there's a step back, and and then I do uh, the one I use a lot that I like to use if it'll actually work for me this time. Run up and then, yeah. And not always do I make the shot like that. There you go. You can put them together too. So you can do a spin and then a, a dunk and it's just kind of up to you what you want to do. There you go, lay up. So, practice your shots. It'll help out, I promise. Uh, I, it's just, it's one of those things you gotta do but it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. And yeah. So let me show you where it's at real quick. We're going to quit this. Yes. And I will show you where this is located. So if you go under play now, which is the first one, just hit play now. And then you'll, you'll see this. So just scroll over to 2KU and that's where it's at. You can do, it's under the training game. So if you do a training game, it'll take a minute to load usually the first time. And then when you go back into it, you just hit continue game, which should pop up here in a second. Yep. And so it'll take you straight to that. Now, if you go here, and I'll show you some of these other ones later on, but there's all kinds you can practice. So definitely go in here, and we'll be back for the next tutorial. But this is the tutorial for shooting. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out of here, as always. Love you all. Game on and geek out.